Hey guys, welcome back. It is your favorite Gimp with a Limp, and I'm here with something that is definitely uh, different than my usual. This is more of a, a, a kind of a thank you video. I'm going to have another one uh, coming up soon where I do the giveaway. Uh, this isn't about that. The giveaway is for those who are donating to the channel uh, right now since I am doing my yearly annual uh, drive or fundraiser thing. Make sure you check the other video for that. This is actually a thank you for a gentleman named Nick, friend of mine now, definitely a friend of mine now, a uh, fellow Marine who sent some stuff to help support the channel. Mo actually recommended him, sent him my way. Uh, good stuff. Thank you again, Mo. Got a big hug coming for you. And I got to say, he Nick packs better than damn publishers do. I mean, he, he sent me damn dealer packs. I'm friggin' loving this. Uh, but a couple things that... Um, he had sent me with some Flames of War stuff and some Wings of Glory stuff. Now, I've had other stuff sent to the channel, mainly it comes from publishers, but a couple of big ones, a fellow named Stu had sent a fair amount of games when I first started the channel to kind of help gear me up. And now Nick has sent a bunch of stuff because I've wanted to cover Flames of War previously, and I have not. I did just cover Bolt Action, really fun game. Flames of War is a different scale. I have covered Wings of Glory before, and I only had a starter kit to go with. Well, that's changed, so we might be doing another solo series on Wings of Glory here soon. We'll show this stuff here in just a sec. When it came to the Flames of War stuff, he sent a, a, a fair amount of it. This, I'm assuming, came with some uh, starter kit, something he must have gotten. Uh, looks like uh, kind of instruction. This is the instruction manual and this looks kind of like a get started series here came with it big thing and I, this was like christmas morning for me was the thing of the paints god i love getting paints in uh because i am always painting stuff so i was real real tickled to see this this is army painter type paint uh, i've got a fair amount of this that i paint my stuff up with but i am always excited to get new colors uh coming in so very much looking forward to using these now the flames of war stuff he sent uh I was looking into getting the uh, Hit the Beach starter set. So I'm going to save up a little money, still dealing with that VA stuff. But when I do have a little bit of extra funds lying around, I will invest in doing that. When I do the fundraiser, I always put that towards equipment and subscription fees for video editing software and stuff like that. I never spend that money towards games. I just don't feel that that's appropriate. So I will save up and get the starter set. But we do have... A nice little starting place to go with it. Let me grab my blade here and open up his little dealer packs. All right, it definitely looks like he wanted to start some type of Soviet army and then like end up finishing it out. Now, he did get a kit here, and I don't know, maybe this came with some type of Flames of War starter kit. You guys will have to let me know. That's what I'm thinking since it has a couple of different factions in here. And this will uh, get to know Flames of War booklet was showing off some of that. But it has three Sherman tanks and four Stugs in here. And these look like uh, resin models. I'm thinking they might be plastic, but we'll pop those open later and find out. And then there at the bottom, if you guys can see, has... Uh, the little metal barrels for them. And that looks like it might be metal. I don't know. We'll have to see how, uh, what these tanks are made of. Resin, metal, or plastic. It's one of them. Uh, but that is the only stuff that's not Soviet. The rest of it is Soviet stuff. But that's why I'm thinking about getting a starter kit that has German and American stuff in it. Because between this and the stuff that comes with that and then all of this, I should have more than enough to do like three factions. Maybe even do a big like three-way battle. That would be really, really freaking cool. And like I said, I've always wanted to try Flames of War because of its different size. So you can see if you haven't seen the Flames of War stuff before, there guys, I have no idea what scale this is. 28 millimeter is bolt action, which is slightly smaller than Warhammer, which is 32 mil. So I guess these would be the 15 mil. You guys will have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's uh, 15 mil on these guys. But we've got a machine gun company, company in here. So this is like multiple platoons. I'm not sure exactly how many would come with that. Does it show in the bases? 
It looks like this thing has six bases. So I'm guessing like one leader, you know, one company leader section, like, uh, yeah, a uh, company HQ is what I'm thinking. And it says three machine gun platoons and some Russian words. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. So maybe, you know, three machine gun platoons, an HQ, and then something else in there since it's got the, the extra bases or maybe it just has extra bases in there. Never uh, put any of these guys together. Definitely looking forward to try that out. So we have, as far as machine gun platoons, I think there's only one of those. Yeah, one of those. Then we have a company HQ. So there's just a mess load of these infantry. And this has a bunch of bases with it. Looks like a couple of bases. Because with these guys, you if you haven't seen Flames of War before, you have anywhere between like two and like five, maybe six guys on a base. So you'll have multiple guys per base. So we've got that. We've got a machine gun company. We have a Strel Cueva platoon, which I have no freaking clue <laughs> what those guys are. But it doesn't say on the back either. I'll have to put together some of these, but it's a, just a buttload of those little minis on there. So these guys are going to be a hell of a lot of fun to paint. Hit them with a basic primer. You know, I'm thinking something green and then hit just like a couple things like the, the weapons, maybe a face, you know, hands, stuff like that, skin color, and then hit it with a wash and you can paint a bunch of miniatures real quick. I might even try the oil wash technique. I've used that before with really good uh, results. So we got an SMG platoon as well. And you guys can see there's like a hundred guys in there. Oh, these guys are going to be so much fun to paint. And oh, we got another Strel Cueva platoon. I'm guessing this is maybe like a, a standard rifle platoon, right? So, uh, well, this says platoon, but it's like the size of a company of those machine gun guys. So maybe there's a buttload of them. Well, I mean, they are Soviets, so they did just send them out to like be meat shields. It says it's got a rifle and a machine gun team option. So that's really cool. And we got another one. So, oh, we got three Strel. Okay, so yeah, we got three of these Strel platoons. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. An SMG platoon, a company HQ, and a machine gun team. So that's all that infantry. And then he also included a engineer and sapper battalion. Battalion. Look at that. 134 figures and two trucks. Don't you guys see the picture on that? Tell me that doesn't look awesome. And you can see how there's a bunch of guys per base. Some have four, some have five. And I'm thinking you're not going to put wounds. Maybe you put a, like a dice or a wound counter next to them if they take a couple of hits or the infantry might get wiped out. I know this game is heavier towards vehicles than it is towards infantry, but you do have the ability to have a whole lot of infantry, and especially like the American 101st, you know, the para jumping troops. Those guys wouldn't be bringing on a whole lot of vehicles there at the very beginning. So... I think that is it for our Flames of War stuff. Like I said, this will be a little while. I'm always working on something in the background on top of other things that I'm working on, but now you guys know what I'm gonna be working on. Uh, I'm gonna get this stuff set up, painted as quick as I can, because I'm really, really looking forward to doing Flames of War. I'm gonna try to get that hit the beach starter set and I don't know, maybe we'll have like just a huge Soviet wave and have them fight the, the Germans and the Americans. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I might have to get some T-34s or something, but I've got those models, those STL files from when I printed it out for that uh, Panzerkampf game. I think I should be able to scale that up and actually print out some T-34s of the appropriate scale because you guys can see they don't have to be that big. I mean, they're only, you know, that big, you know, was it 15 mil scale? So it wouldn't be that, that much of a size difference. I could print off a handful of those really easily just to add here to this <laughs> couple of battalions now that I have of Soviet troops. 
Man, Nick, you are awesome. And I'll tell you what, I hate to say it, but this this tickled the hell out of me when I saw it. I was like, oh my God, paint. You know, I was I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, look at it in the box. And the wife's like, what's wrong? I was like, nothing's wrong. Everything's right. <laughs> She's like, you got that excited about paint. She's like, you were jumping up and down over paint and little metal figures. And when our kids were born, you were like, yay, cool, child, baby. And I was like, well, you got to have priorities in life. You know, certain things excite you. I was definitely excited when it came to making the babies. It was a little different when it comes to, you know, raising them and all that good stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love my kids. They're great. All right. So let's push this out of the way and look at this. Okay. Like I said, he had like dealer bags. I mean, look at this. He ships stuff better than freaking most people do. Like most publishers do not ship stuff this good. I mean, come on, everything was wrapped up. All right, so there's a bunch of individuals. We'll look at those here in a sec, but he did include an actual starter set. And I was so tickled because this starter set is not the starter set I have. So now I've got the starter set I already had and this one for Wings of Glory. Uh, Wings of Glory, if you don't know, it's a game very similar to X-Wing in the way that it's played. It's World War II aircraft, and you'll have them over whatever terrain. You could use this and say they're flying over it or a seascape, whatever. And there's little cards that you place in front of the plane bases, and that chooses your maneuvers, right? So you'll have your planes. You'll secretly slot out however many cards in front. I think this one is three. I could be wrong. Uh, wings, there's Wings of Glory, World War One, and World War Two, and you play so many cards, so you're making choices not just for this current turn, but for upcoming turns. So you have to anticipate your opponent. Now, the cool part is there is a solo um, version of the game. It's not a, uh, not by Ares, all right. It's not by the publisher, but it was developed, and I, I found it worked actually pretty well. So I will be pulling that back out for use with this. So basically it makes decisions for the AI. You can't play this one without some type of solitaire. Uh, this is really cool. It comes with a plane from four different factions. Let's see if I can get the glare off. We've got a Yak-1, we, which is Soviet. We've got a P-40, which is British, which I mean, why wouldn't they just do like a hurricane? But I think the other one's got hurricane, so it doesn't matter. A something RG-2001, I think. This is an Italian plane. And then I thought this was a Kai-43, but it says it's like a Kai-61. It's a Japanese plane. So four different fighters have come with that. And of course, this has all the, the measuring sticks and uh, some extra cards. The, the range rulers that come into play because determining... Uh, what type of weapons, determines what type of damage you draw, different ranges, real cool stuff, but you guys will see that because we will be pulling this game out. I haven't filmed Wings of Glory since I've had better equipment, better lighting, better sound, better everything. So this actually does give me a good reason to get a good game back out of storage, get it back to the table. And the funniest part was I, when I was unpacking some of this stuff earlier, my kids were more excited about the bubble wrap than they were the, uh, the planes and tank, but eh, it is what it is. So we've got a bunch of extra planes to go with here. I'll just hold them up one at a time, take a look, see what we got. This looks like another P-40, I believe, for the Americans. I hope I am correct on that, but it doesn't say on it. Let's see. No. Yep. P-40 Warhawk right down here at the bottom. So I am correct. And that looks like an ME-109. Make sure I'm right. Yep. BF-109. Does it say which version? E-3. Now, as long as I get it right, I'm good. I'm not worried about having the, the exact right version. That's a Spitfire, which of course that is a Spitfire. So we got a British version as well. Looks like another Kai... 43. No, it's a Kai 61. All right, so someone's got to tell me what's the difference between a Kai 61 and a Kai 43. I'm not sure what the uh, the designation for it was, but 
Let's see, that's a P40. Yep, got another P40. Love the P40. I've always loved the P40. So that gives us like three of those. And that's a Wildcat. Tell me that's a Wildcat. Yep, Grumman F4F Wildcat. Ooh, I love that. That's going to be a really cool one. All right, I'm going to have to come up with a scenario for that because there were Marines that flew F4 Wildcats during World War II. They were the last of the flying sergeants back before you had to be an officer to fly a plane because, like, that makes a damn difference. Anyway, uh, looks like another ME 109, I think. Yep, this one is another E3. So we got a couple of ME 109s, another ME 109 to go with it. So we've got a guarantee three ME 109s and three P40s. So that'd be a good one to go with. Is this another P40? Let me see. Uh, no, this is a hurricane. I just glanced at it. I missed the, uh, the circles instead of stars. So yep, got a hurricane. Perfect, love the look at that. Tell me this is a 43. Is this a Kai 43? No, it's another 61. But it's green. I, I don't know. I can't tell the difference. I could have swore these were like Kai 40, uh, 43s. Maybe 61 is just the later version. That's probably what it is. And another Spitfire or Hurricane. Yep, a couple of Hurricanes. Ooh, we got a bunch of multiples there which i were like and i saved my two favorites that i already opened up earlier let me confirm it but yes it is the stuka got a couple of stuka die bombers here so i'm thinking about doing some bigger bigger version maybe coming up with a, a scenario where the stukas are coming in to do some bombing runs and they've got some 109s guarding them and then P40s or whatever are guarding them. Definitely P40s because I've got a handful of those. But we're going to have to try this uh, solitaire. But if I do a bombing run with this, I don't know how well the AI would handle that, the solitaire AI. I'll definitely have to check that out to see if it can handle, you know, mission specific stuff. Anyway, that's it. That's, I mean, that's it. That, Good grief. I mean, all of this yummy all in one place is just so freaking awesome, man. Can't thank uh, Nick enough. Definitely appreciate all this stuff. I'm really excited to get it to the table. Uh, looks so good. The Wings of Glory stuff will probably be filmed sooner rather than the Flames of War because the Flames of War has to be assembled, painted, primed, all that good stuff. It's going to take me a little while. This all does come pre-painted, so it won't take me too long. So if you have an idea from the planes that you have seen, and the starter pack planes that come in the Battle of Britain, because I think that's the starter version I have of Wings of Glory. So between all this and that, uh, let me know what type of mission you guys would like to see played out using uh, the solitaire rules uh, for Wings of Glory. And stay tuned because Flames of War will be coming up as soon as I... Uh, am able to round that out just a little bit further so we've got an opposing force to play but i'm definitely really looking forward to trying this stuff out uh thanks again and as always appreciate all the support for the channel you guys make sure and stay tuned i've got some more 1985 sacred oil uh coming up core space is almost ready to go to the table and i've got a game that i'm reviewing for Mo as a favorite him that I'll have on the table here very soon. It's actually why I've kept a little bit of open space so I can jump on that the moment it comes in and get it done. All right, you guys take care. I will see you in the next one.